If you're looking for things to do here in Washington, D.C., then you came to the right place. Welcome to our nation's capital. We hope you enjoyed your short flight with us. We hope everyone has a nice day here in the Washington, D.C. area. That large building behind me is called the Washington Monument. It honors our first president, George Washington, and it was built in 1884. And when it was, it was actually the world's tallest building. It is not anymore, and it is massive. You can't tell by the video, but it is huge. All right, guys, I'm right in front of the World War II Memorial. For those who don't know, uh, once upon a time ago, I was in the Army and I did go to Iraq. So any war stuff to me, you know, it triggers something inside. I feel proud when I'm here. It's right next to the reflection pool. And then you have the Lincoln Memorial on the other side, which I'm gonna go check out right now too. So right behind me, you can see the reflection pool and you know, there's something about seeing it in movies and something about seeing it in real life and it's just an amazing sight to see. Okay, you can see right behind me is the Lincoln Memorial and we're about to go check it out. We're just waiting for nightfall because it looks a lot nicer at night because you can see the lights just lighting up Mr. Lincoln. You'll see in a second. I made it up the stairs you can see Mr. Abraham Lincoln right behind me the lights are on but you still have some daylight so it doesn't give it that effect so we're gonna wait a little bit more that way he shines at his brightest and it looks a lot better at the Lincoln Memorial looking down at the reflection pool and I could just remember two things one is the Martin Luther King Jr. speech I had a dream was here and then two is the iconic Forrest Gump part in the movie where Jenny runs out on the water and she runs out to Forrest. That happened right behind me. So the Lincoln Memorial does look a lot nicer at nighttime with all the lights lit up. <laughs> and that's the Lincoln Memorial. Thumbs up. <laughs> we came to and pizza it's only about half a mile away from the Lincoln Memorial and it is delicious uh, I had the pepperoni and jalapeno and it was just too good to be true got my buddy back here he's nodding his head because he liked it too we gave it two thumbs up on the Richter scale So one of the modes of transportation here are these bikes. You could just rent them for 30 minutes for an hour. You could actually do a three day pass, which is $17. So this is a good way to get around. Okay, and we got a bike that easy. So I rented it for the day, 24 hours, it's $8. So I think it's worth it, especially if you're gonna be going around different places. It's a lot better to get on a bike versus walking. I am now at the United States Marine Corps War Memorial and this is actually in Arlington, Virginia, right across the way from Washington, D.C. This is an iconic statue of the six Marines raising the flag at Iwo Jima in World War II in 1945. And it is a massive statue. As you can see, I'm standing right next to it and it just towers over me. So this is something great to see here. We are now at the Arlington National Cemetery and there is over 400,000 service members and their family buried here at the cemetery.
Okay, so another mode of transportation is the metro and it is used heavily here in the DC area. All you have to do is get a pass. You first start off with $10, right? It's $2 for the card and then it gives you $8 in fees. And depending on where you're going, depends on how much it's gonna be. You just have to see where your destination is. It'll tell you how long it takes to get there. And then of course, um, how much it is for peak and off peak hours. You can either pay cash right here or you could use your card over here on the other side and this is where the card comes out of right here and this is what it looks like Call the metro, do not call it the subway, or else you might get punched in the gut or something. No, probably not, but just call it a metro, it's not a subway. Doors opening. So we started on the blue line and we're coming from Arlington, Virginia, and it took only like 10 minutes to come to the DC area. We are now in front of the Smithsonian Castle, so let's go inside and see what they got. here at the Air and Space Museum. It is free admission. And the one thing I really want to do is touch a moon rock. So I got to go find out where that's at. So if you're looking for the moon rock like I am, they have taken it out of display. So I'm not too happy about that. But I did get to check out some cool stuff while I was here. We are now at the National Museum of the American Indian. If you get hungry around the Smithsonian area, you have so many food trucks to choose from. Hot dogs, pizzas, Philly cheesesteaks, hamburgers, all that good stuff. So if you're hungry around this area, do not fear food trucks everywhere. I got the U.S. Capitol building behind me and I'm about to find out what's inside. We signed up for a free tour of the Capitol building. the Capitol Dome right behind me. I learned a very hard lesson yesterday and the Capitol is not open on the weekend, so please come Monday through Friday. Okay, let's take a quick time out from the travel video. I wanted to let you guys know about the three airports that are closest to the DC area. And the first one is the Ronald Reagan, which I recommend. And that's the one I went to. And it's 10 minutes away from Washington, DC. And you could also get the Metro from there. So it's real convenient. It's also 10 minutes away from Arlington, Virginia. That's where I stayed at. I recommend staying at Arlington, Virginia because of the hotels are cheap and it's only 10 minutes away from DC. The second airport is the Dulles Airport and it's 45 minutes away from DC. I don't recommend that one. And also the airfare was a little more expensive at the Dulles Airport. And the third airport is the Baltimore Airport. I don't recommend it because it's also 45 minutes away from the Washington DC area. And same thing with the tickets. They're a little more expensive, but you do your homework, see which one's better for you. Let's get back to the travel video. So if you're coming to Sports Tavern, the burger was not that great, I'll tell you right now. But the Miller Lite pitcher was $18 and it had a good vibe and everybody was watching football. So if you're looking for that, definitely come here. I 
hope you guys didn't think I was gonna come to Washington DC and not visit the White House. If you wanna come visit the White House, it is free of charge. You just have to do it 21 days before you come. This trip for me, it was a kind of last second, so I didn't have those 21 days, but you have to submit a request through your congressional representative and they'll get back to you and you could actually go inside the White House for free, people. You can see the Washington Monument for almost anywhere in DC. We are headed to the Thomas Jefferson Memorial and it looks like some construction is being done to it. And another great transportation in Washington DC are these electrical scooters. A lot of people don't like them because they leave them everywhere but as long as you put them where they're supposed to go, get them out the way, they are very efficient. at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial and just like the other statues they're gigantic Woo, we're rocking we're rolling you could also check out Albert Einstein statue right behind me you can always get Uber or Lyft because there's a ton of them here in the DC area I'm here at the MLK Memorial, Martin Luther King, and it towers over me just like the rest of the statues. It's nice to see, and you have the rocks in the back and everything complements each other, and you also got the lake on the other side. I am now at the Korean War Memorial, and I came by last night, and if you're scared of ghosts, it kind of looks freaky, so do not come at night but it is nice to see in the daytime. If you're coming to DC, make sure you got more than just one or two days because there is so much to do here. I want you guys to let me know in the comment box below if I missed anything or if you wanted to add on anything of the places I did go to, please like it, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys on the next one.